Hello everyone, this is Ari from Iris Communication. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install your TP-Link 150Mbps TL WR740 and wireless and router manually. In my previous video, I showed how you can install by the CD. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install manually the same router if you have any difficulty installing by CD or somehow most of the time the CDs are not working properly. Here I have that CD. In that case, you can do manually. So I have to put this box one side and here is the router itself. All we need to do, we have to connect with the power cable. We have to on the router to connect with the modem. The cable from the modem should go at the blue port. After that, we need one more cable. This LAN cable I will put at the port number port at any yellow port. You can put this one, one side. After that, The other side you need to put at your desktop or laptop PC. I put here. That is fine. Now we have to go our desktop or laptop PC anywhere you want and go at your desktop and check if you are connected with the internet or not. And if you are connected to any sort of internet, disconnect from that. And now one thing you have to do after connecting all that you have to click on button and when you click on button you'll see the lead of your router is on leave this one side and you have to wait for a few seconds now as you see I'm not connected to nothing at all and the connection is coming and going all the time as you see here you see the indication of and connection is on and now it's showing me I'm connected to the internet via my new router. This is default name of router TP-Link 5D0474. At this moment, I'm connected to the internet. For preview, I click Google Chrome. And as you see, I'm connected to the Google. But at this moment, I don't have any Wi-Fi signal. So for establish a Wi-Fi connection or Wi-Fi signal, we have two options. We can go to our desktop. We have to click at network and at the network we have this icon of wireless router you will see the model number here all you need to do you have to click this one if this one is not working here you see one more option of same model click that one you will see they will ask you some username and password the default username and password is admin this is one option another way you can enter into the setup of your tp link you have to click Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, anyone as you want. At the place of web address, I have to click 192.168.1.1 and I have to click enter. And as you see, they ask me same username and password. Put AD, mine admin username and the password is admin too. This is default. Click enter. And as you see here, I'm at the configuration of TP-Link. I have so many options here. The first one is status, quick setup, QSS network, wireless, and so many other options. You don't need to touch nothing. Directly go to network. Here you can select your dynamic IP, static IP, which type of IP you have. If you don't know nothing about this, just leave dynamic IP. You don't need to touch nothing here. After that, here as you see the wireless option and as you see here the TP-Link name given by the TP-Link Corporation, you want to change your Wi-Fi name, erase all that and put as you want. I'm going to put Harry, H-A-W-R-Y, Harry and the second option is important, choose your country. Here is right in the United States, click that one and choose as you want. At this moment, I'm at Argentina to search my country. Here it is, Argentina. After that, the other option, you don't need to do nothing. Just hit save. 
click ok this is done and you have to reboot for save this change click here for reboot click reboot ok and you have to wait is restarting now all the configuration the process is done and it is bring me to this page the page you can't display it doesn't matter here you see the refresh button click this one when you refresh you will go inside again now click one more time wireless as you see harry argentina all is done now the second option you have wireless security click this one which type of password you want to put you have two type of password wpa normal and wp personal select the first one the better one and if you don't want to put any password click this option disable security but that is dangerous and here the third option as the wireless option is the password the default password they put something vc whatever delete all this and put a password as you want i complete eight digit click save okay and i have to reboot for save this change here as you see at the down i have one option again click here for reboot click reboot okay and as this is restarting now and it's done and again is bring me to this page click refresh all is done now close this page disconnect the ethernal port from your laptop also from router now you are not connected with no internet at your laptop as you see i'm not connected to no internet now i will click or connect any internet option i have or not as you see harry is appear my new wi-fi address okay for checking that my wi-fi is configured properly or not i'm taking my samsung galaxy note 2 i will click at settings i will click at wi-fi at Wi-Fi, as you see here, I have Wi-Fi. My new Wi-Fi had is available here. Click this one to put the password queued. I will click connect. And as you see, it's connected properly and fine for checking. Now I will click any browser. And as you see, and I will click Google here, www. Google here. And I'm connected with the Google fine. One more page. YouTube and as you see I'm properly connected at the internet by my new Wi-Fi so this is all my friend if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment I will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the IRS communication www.iriscommunication.com and i have so many other video on this same router how you can reset and how you can manually set up if you want check those thanks once again good night ciao